today I'm going to be doing a demonstration using a mineral foundation or a tutorial using mineral foundation because ever since I started talking about my I'm sorry not mineral foundation mineral makeup in general ever since I started talking about my mineral foundation um, I've been getting some questions about what's so great about mineral makeup so um, I decided that I was going to show you guys exactly everything you can do with it okay Okay, so before we get started, I wanted to show you all what I have sitting here. I'm going to be doing a green, purple, and blue look. As you see over here, I have um, my cream to powder um, because I can use that to actually uh, brush on the makeup as a cream, but it'll actually work as a powder also. Um, it'll dry to be a powder. So, And over here, I have a little cap full of water and my eyeshadow brush, which I actually bought from True Colors which is the type of mineral uh, makeup we're going to be using. Um, okay. So basically a few things you should know right away is that uh, mineral eyeshadows aren't necessarily strictly eyeshadows. They're actually pigments. So you can use them as nail polish, eyeshadow, mascara, um, cheek color, lipstick, lip gloss, whatever. So first of all, you guys have seen me before do uh, the wet brush method where uh, basically all I did was just get my brush damp and now I'm shaping it and I'm just going to pick up just barely gently touching uh, my pigment to get it on the brush I'm going to do my inner corner with that and see how I get such a very strong pigmented color Okay, and now since uh, we got the inside, I've wet my brush again, just a little damp, and I'm going to take my blue color and put that in my corners. Okay, so now I'm going to take the um, eyeliner brush portion of, because my brush is dual, and I'm just going to dampen that a little. I'm going to take my purple color, which sometimes turns out to look almost pink, and I'm going to try and line the bottom of my eye with it. Uh, didn't get enough color. Can you see how I'm winging that out a little? Okay, so now with such bright colors, I kind of want to contrast it a little bit with a little dark. So I'm going to line my eyes. I'm very old-fashioned as far as lining with uh, black. That much I like never get creative on. But I'm going to bring out a line of black right there. Mind you, I haven't used this stuff in a long time. Okay, and uh, I, as you can see, I've got my base, my eyes done, and now I'm going to take um, my True Colors Glossy Lipstick. Um, you don't really have to use this gloss, you can pretty much use any uh, clear gloss, but when I bought it, I bought it all together. Taking my same purple pigment, sometimes I just, because I just need a little, just go around the rims to get my color. And this is how I'm going to make my lipstick. And 
And like I said, this is very similar to like, um, I know some of you use the MAC pigments or whatever. And of course this look is not something you would normally see me do, but I figured I'd do something different because I'm using a different type of makeup and I wanted to show how intense it could be even with the brighter colors and stuff. And it's kind of cute actually. Oops, got a little pigment on me. And so um, from here, oh, they also have, as you can see, um, it comes with, this is a really old one, you can tell. Uh, but anyway, it uh, has like a mascara wand with it, and you can put that, if you want, you can put pigment, like if you bought a clear mascara, this one's actually from True Colors, um, but you can put pigment in it, and then you have a bunch of different colored mascaras, um, as well as the same with the lip gloss. You could easily mix, like some of you have seen my video where I did um, my foundation. You see that I use uh, lotion for both my foundation as well as my cheeks. Today I didn't. I just did it natural. That's why you see all the glitter. But I thought since I'm doing kind of a different look anyway. Who really cares? Okay, so that's my look. And I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.